actually looks like a noodle dipped in soy sauce. Yo guys, good morning, and I welcome you back to day two here at BD Performance. As you can see, we're already here bright and early, but I've got to say something, honestly. I'm not one to exaggerate, but that is without a shadow of a doubt the fastest car I've ever driven myself. All I need to say, focus this T. Yeah, that's why we're here. This is why I'm building this channel. This is why I'm trying to show off these cars, because this thing is incredible. All thanks to BD Performance. Right guys, as you already know, um, I've had quite a few of these sell out recently, but I've got one in my glove box, which I've saved because this car here, the uh, mental ST that you guys have seen, needs one on the back window. Uh, although it's black, that's kind of the idea is that it doesn't stand out and be annoying. So you know that really savage ST, this one right here, the one that is, the way that I called it yesterday was Ferrari fast, but all the same guys, I've got a GCM sticker here, a George's car mob sticker. So what we're gonna do, Stick it on this car. Now, Now the guy that owns it obviously didn't pay for this sticker, but going forward, I'm gonna use these as the GCM seal of approval. This car is something else. So yeah, I feel like this needs to be on the back. So I'm gonna put that on now. Right, he has got a cloth, but you know, I just use my hoodie. Funny hair, you know. <laughs> I know. Go on, go for it. Tear that baby off. Oh, it came out cleaner than I thought. That's what he said. There we go. There we go. It works. Doesn't look out of place. Isn't obnoxiously in your face. But yeah, I approve. GCM seal of approval. Just quickly before I head off to uh, Demon Tweaks Performance, I just thought I'd show you this lovely little RS that's up there. It looks beautiful, and I didn't want to not film it. So either way, guys, BD Performance. We're off on this to go visit Demon Tweaks. Does that sound? Have a little road trip with the boys. Now, guys, there's only so many times I can use the Demon Tweaks website. I mean, we're here in person now. There we go. Here in the RS, though, with the boys. Yeah. Say subscribe. This is like, yeah, <laughs> subscribe. Sorry, guys, he's got a yeah. stutter. <laughs> Inability on camera or on voiceover to say subscribe to the channel. Wow, I did it. Demon Tweaks. Yeah, boy, doing bits. Look at that, guys. Demon Tweaks, if you see this video, get into my DMs and sponsor me. You don't sponsor anyone else, so you may as well make a change. New set in the ST. They're expensive though, but we need some awesome new ones in the car. What do you guys think? Those would be nice. These are proper track seats, these. Oh my God, this shop is incredible. Oh wow, race car life. Honestly, this place is cool. You're not a real person. You look like a real person, but you're not. But yeah, guys, they brought me here to Demon Tweaks and uh, I'm just nerding out over this cool equipment. Wow. Carbon Kevlar. Look at that, that's a cool seat. Cool outfit. Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hello. <laughs> now guys, although I'm very close with Platinum Detailing over in Plymouth, you can imagine that there are other companies in the game that are equally as talented. So we've come over here to Wizards, if that's correct, Custom Wizards. And they're in Wrexham and he's doing all kinds of bits. But what I wanted to show you was in there because they've got like a really cool detailing shop. We're obviously here in the RS, 440 brake RS, but we're gonna go show you now. Right, check this out. They've got so much stuff in here. Now what's really cool as well, is they've got this little guy. Hey, look, you were playing with me earlier. You were. Obviously guys, if you're local to Wrexham, don't forget to come and check these guys out. They're pretty cool and they work closely with BD Performance, but like I said, custom wizards, check them out. Seeing as the car's on the ramp and yesterday we got the block mod well and truly done. Before we go ahead and fit anything today, including the oil breather kit and RS oil cooler, I basically wanted to get these brakes professionally bled and these lines untangled because me doing it on the driveway, I don't know if you can see, yeah, they are all over the place. So they're gonna fix that today. Get it all corrected and uh, hopefully 
we'll be a little bit closer to having some confidence in driving this car hard. But yeah, this one's okay. This one's not too bad. It was the uh, front driver's side that was the worst one. But guys, when you're not a driveway bodge job artist like me, you come up with contraptions like this to bleed your brakes. Now they do have a computer as well. What's it called? What's the machine using that you're called? It's just a diagnostic Wait, machine. Wait, so what's the machine called that you're using? It's just a diagnostic yeah. machine, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, guys, they're doing a bleeding kit now and then they're gonna bleed this properly using the machine because on my driveway, apparently, well, no, I'm telling you this now, I didn't do a good enough job. So yeah, we've also untangled the braided lines, which you may or may not be able to see all the way up there. Big powered Focus STs and RSs are not just for grown-ups. They come in children's size too. How cool is that? <laughs> There's no batteries though, which is a shame. Can you push it for me? Can you push the car? Pushing. Push the car, quick. Right guys, we're on to bleeding the brakes now. Like I said, when I did it on my driveway, I did a bodge job, typical standard GCM. But yeah, we've, uh, we've got all of these linked up with some homemade uh, drainage facilities, but Alan and Dave are doing bits. Dave. 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 I've called him Dave. I've just named him Dave now. Is it better than Jason? It's Jason. It's Nathan. Uh, has it got ESP? Yeah. It's the ST1. It's got nothing. But how that come it's got an S? That button's fake. Okay. That's probably why then. <laughs> they might actually feel like big brakes when you're done with this. Hopefully. He's got this little homemade contraption over here. Again, you don't need reminding, but he's the lad that has the crazy ST. So I, uh, I trust what he's up to. Big boy brakes getting uh, professionally tuned up. But we're just repeating the process on the rears. So guys, judging by the title, you already know what is going in the car. But Alan, just before you go ahead and do that, do you want to just explain what it is you're putting in and why it is that we're doing that? Uh, doing oil cooler to an RS1. Better, better cooling and stuff like that. So take this crappy standard thing out. And we do a little comparison in a minute. Promise you a subscriber didn't turn up. <laughs> There you go. You can power now, is it? So guys, obviously the one that we are using is a used part, so don't worry, it is fantastic condition. It'll work just the same way that we wanted it. But yeah, that's the comparison there. A standard ST oil cooler to the RS oil cooler. Almost double the size. Well, there we go. Is it literally that simple? Is it just screw in, screw out? It is literally. Well, it should be. <laughs> I'll leave you to screw that in and I'm going to go into the engine room and have a look at the uh, braided lines being made. I think that's what's going on. So somewhere in here is the main man in charge making something to do with the uh, oil breeder kit, I think. Is that correct? Hi, yeah, I'm just uh, knocking up the hoses ready for the uh, breather kit. There we go, guys. ST's there. Uh, it's like having a little transformation courtesy of BD Performance. We'll be able to see the factory oil filter housing, you know, side by side with the uh, the modified breather part when we mm. uh, when we get them removed anyway. So, right, guys, while he works his magic, we're going to go check out the RS oil cooler that's been put into the car as we speak. Ooh. So, why is it purple? Is there a reason behind it? Just customer selection. Oh, nice. That's cool. So, yeah, guys, I'm just checking out some of the engines they've got hanging up here. What engine is this? It's an ST225 um, forged with Marler and Marler pistons and K1 rods. Oh, guys, guys, imagine future of the channel getting something like this in the car. I wish. But yeah, the RS oil cooler is going in nice and smoothly. Hi right, guys, I've left you for two minutes. So what is it you've been up to in the meantime? I see the batteries come out. Are you mounting anything? Are they, you mounting, mounting the catch can up there? Is that what's going on? We'll be Hang mounting on. the catch can uh, to the side of the battery box and uh, removing the standard oil filter housing, ready to exchange it for the modified version. Is there anything in there that would signify as to why you'd want to upgrade it? Diaphragm inside here tends to fail and also the seal around the lid can be a bit problematic. But You know when they talk about the loud... Yeah, yeah funny noise yeah. and they tell you to take the dipstick out to stop the noise happening I've not heard about that but okay when so when the diaphragm fails the diaphragm is actually fitted inside there okay but this is a version 5 which is the the, the last um, 
the superseded part number so that it's got an upgraded diaphragm so these don't really tend to fail the same oh, okay. as the original version. Do you reckon someone's replaced it then? This has definitely been replaced on that year of car, yeah. Okay, awesome. She looks like a noodle dipped in soy sauce. Try it. Yeah. Yeah? Tastes just like it. <laughs> this is the exciting bit. So what exactly are these? Just to people that are wondering, what's so fancy about them? Uh, well, it's these are just the hoses that connect the modified filter housing to the um, external catch can that we're going to fit as part of the breather system. Awesome, so whereabouts do they go then? Um, well, literally, so if you see the, the threaded jig fittings on the, yeah, yeah. On the modified uh, the oil filter the housings, they go, yeah, they go up and around onto the catch can that we're going to mount inside of the battery box. Nice. So you guys, just taking off the plastic sheath that holds those wires from the sea order. Just allows a little bit more slack, so I'm just going to take that off now. And they're going to angle this little wire here that goes off the starter motor and angle it down so that it doesn't rub up against this. As you can see, this has been relocated now, so it just points down. Like I said, it just prevents it from getting in the way. Okay, I see the professionals over here. Right, guys, those have been attached, as you can see. And obviously, once the battery cover goes back in, they can be attached into the oil catch can. The RS ECU hodder can go back in, and we should be a little bit closer to some final progress. Look at this little thing that's just rocked up. Look at that. Right guys, so a fellow ST owner has just turned up to BT Performance to come and show some support, check out the current goings on with the car, but more importantly guys, he's waiting for K-Spot brakes, so I'm super jealous. Yeah, but I've got big Brembo's, he was asking how they are, but obviously like I said guys earlier, now they've been bled, it's impossible for me to really pass judgement, especially sort of telling if they're any good. Um, I will let you know, and I will address it in the video, to you particularly, and then hopefully, you could potentially end up with some of those instead of 1300 pound brakes that still haven't arrived. Great, thanks. Yeah, uh, what we'll do guys is we're gonna, uh, well, they are, they're gonna install this catch can now and it just basically gets bolted onto the side of the battery uh, cover. Not cover, but casing, I suppose. Um, this then, I suppose, is, where does that go? It's just, uh, it's vent to atmosphere. So this is what it, I'm saying, so where does it, where so does it's, it point? it's attached to the subframe on the other okay. side of the car. Okay, that makes sense, so yeah. yeah. Um, Guys, it's a very maintenance-free job, but I suppose when you go ahead and do a service, it's always good to blast with a pressure washer through some of these pipes. Those ones there, the braided ones, just to uh, make sure it's all safe and sound, you know? Because they build up that mucus that you often see in the oil cap. But yeah, I haven't had that yet, but that often signifies head gasket issues, but up to now, we're doing okay, because we replaced it yesterday, didn't we? We did. I have no experience in that, so that's okay. The big thing with the small space, isn't it? Yeah. Guys, so he's basically severing the pipe that goes into the brake servo just to make a little bit more room for the catch can. But yeah, they're just gonna do that now. I just thought I'd let you know what's going on. Just really quickly, while stuff happens on my car down there somewhere, I just wanted to show you this. So, this ST500 is not only being turned by the gentleman around the corner right here, he's now hiding. <laughs> it's not only being turned into a four-wheel drive car, but he told me something that I didn't know. Now, the first of the ST500s that were made goes to Ford Heritage, and the second one was a press car. Now, he's not quite sure, but this particular one was used by either Top Gear or Fifth Gear, so that's pretty cool. Long story short, guys, it's something that I didn't know about the ST, so I felt it necessary to mention. So yeah, if you see one of 500, then you've probably stolen it from Ford Heritage, and if it's two, then you've probably stolen it from Santa around the corner. But yeah, um, this car's pretty cool. Something I didn't know, so there. So guys, when the under tray goes on, that only signifies one thing, and that means a good job. Well done. Progress has been made. We're gonna get the car down shortly. We're also gonna go for a drive in a subscriber's car, but he wants to show me how good the diff is. Trying to persuade me to get a diff in my car. M Factory, I think it is. But yeah, these guys have been doing absolute bits. Uh, Santa over here, my new friend, has been working on his ST500 that you saw in the clip earlier. Thank you for the vape cloud. I really appreciate that. You're welcome. Legend. Can you do it again? As you can see the oil breather kit is done. If you look down there, uh, provided it decides to get into focus, you can see everything in there. We've got the catch can down there. Now, one thing that Darren was mentioning is that if you have an issue with your turbo, fitting an oil catch can is gonna highlight that pretty quickly. So shortly, we're gonna turn on the car and work out if uh, Darren needs to sponsor me and basically put an RS Turbo in the car. But up until then, we're gonna have to uh, remain hopeful. Soon see if we've got loads of smoke. Two minutes later, the car's not smoking. That's a good sign so far. 
far. I'm doing okay. This legend's still here. Chris, he's got his uh, orange ST that we're going out in shortly. Yeah, the car's not smoking. It's progress. Great. Treat your subscribers with the same kindness they treat you. Taking me out for a spin, so I'll chuck him on the video. No, guys, in seriousness, Chris has an M factory diff. He says it's a worthwhile upgrade, so he's going to prove it to me. Please don't put me in a hedge. Yo, guys, you've already seen Chris earlier in the video, um, but something that's quite exciting that may or may not be happening while we're here up with BD Performance is an M factory diff. Now, if I go ahead and install the M factory diff, I'll be using this video at the start to show you, you know, ultimately why I am. So yeah, like I said, this is Chris. He owns the electric orange ST that we're in right now. And uh, we're gonna go for a short little hoon and then head back to BD Performance. So he's actually running 323 brake with 450 foot pound. So that's gonna be interesting. Yes. Shut up, Siri. So this is my ride on the way home today. I need to get all my stuff. But yeah, I'm taking this. Very exciting. What do you guys think? 440 horsepower and a Focus RF. Guys, what an amazing day. We have achieved the oil breather kit, the oil catch can, and we have fixed up my brakes. We have got them all tuned in properly. And have we done anything else? I can't remember. It's been a really long day. Guys, I'm taking the Focus RS from BD Performance, 440 to 450 horsepower in purple to my brother's house. And Chris is still here, one of the subscribers that came up earlier and said hello. And yeah, we're gonna finish up today's video. And as always, guys, you've been amazing. You've shown so much support. So don't forget to like the video if you haven't already. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Obviously, blow up BD Performance because you guys need to do that as they've been helping me. So you go help them. And obviously consider subscribing if you're new. As always, we'll see you in the next video. But for GCM, roll the outro, peace.